really into sea turtles. They are this wild animal that dates back to the ages of the dinosaurs and we still see it coming on these same beaches year and year and year after. Their biggest threat, their biggest predator is actually humans. So in my mind, if we are their biggest threat, then we can also be their biggest help. Every morning, just as the sun is rising, teams from the Greek environmental charity Archelon survey the beaches of Kyparissia Bay in the western Peloponnese. It's the largest sea turtle nesting area in the whole of the Mediterranean, and most of the nests are along a strip of just 10 kilometers. They quickly find a turtle trail leading to a new nest. The team carefully examines it and covers it with a metal grid to protect the eggs from dogs and other threats that come from human activity. When Archelong started this work, they counted just 600 nests in this area. Now, 40 years later, the turtles are beginning to thrive. Right now we have 5,000 nests in a range of 12.5 kilometers. So it really shows you how important that the work that we do is here. Out at sea, turtles can get caught up in fishing nets, and sadly, their populations wouldn't thrive without human intervention. In Glyfada, near Athens, we visited Archelon's hospital, the Sea Turtle Rescue Center. Injured and sick turtles from all over Greece are brought here. During our visit, we encountered 29 turtles, some of them severely injured. Their treatment requires the expertise of vets, who are assisted by dozens of volunteers from countries around the world. Sea turtles are officially a protected species, but they remain threatened, mainly by plastic bags in the sea that they eat, thinking they're jellyfish, and of course, fishing nets. Unfortunately, the number one reason for the majority of the animals that we're receiving is deliberate uh, injuries, mainly in the area of the head. We also usually see scars or injuries in the area of the flippers, in the front flippers. That means they have been entangled in fishing nets and in an attempt from the people to get them out, they also hit them. It's of course inexcusable. We have cases where sea turtles are entangled in fishing nets, they have ingested hooks or they have ingested uh, fishing lines. Also if you have any questions. The small ones. The rescue centre welcomes visitors, many of whom are tourists. Archelon relies heavily on private donations and works with international organisations, including the EU. It's difficult to know for certain how exactly the turtles get injured, but it's likely that fishermen are using force to remove them from their nets when they've got entangled in them. This can damage their nets and it's time consuming, but importantly, it doesn't affect the size of their catch. Every single animal that is arriving here has its own story, has been through a very unique process in order to get better. So, of course, a release is always like one of the best feelings you can have in this kind of work. Sea turtles are one of a number of slow-growing and long-lived marine species that are causing concern today for their future survival. But there are others, cetaceans, that's mammals who live in the world's oceans, including dolphins. Many marine creatures that used to be abundant are now threatened. So what puts the lives of protected species at risk? And what can we do to help them? Delfini del Ponente is an association in Western Liguria that monitors the ocean's mammals and other marine life. Along this stretch of the Italian coast near the French border, dolphins and whales are particularly abundant. To help preserve and restore these populations, activists meticulously document every sighting. The gathered data identifies areas that might require enhanced protection. These coastal creatures live in an area that is greatly impacted by human activities like fishing and boat traffic. It's crucial to assess their health and population numbers to help their protection. 
numero eh, di animali presenti per eh, contribuire alla loro conservazione. Noi abbiamo alcuni degli animali... Among the animals that we identify and monitor, some show marks from collisions with propellers and boat engines. There are animals that have been accidentally captured or are just showing signs of past interactions that they managed to survive. Why is this happening? Spanish organization Submon works with local fishermen and has put cameras on fishing nets in northern Catalonia to see what's going on. And there are similar projects in the Mediterranean and the Black Sea by scientists working with the General Fisheries Commission for the Mediterranean. The revealing footage shows dolphins putting themselves in danger as they approach trawled nets to snatch fish, a behavior termed depredation. They gnaw at the nets, damaging costly fishing equipment. Some dolphins even venture into offshore aqua farms, causing distress to the cultivated fish. In a four-year project, the Fisheries Commission and the maritime conservation legal organization ACOBAMS evaluated a variety of dolphin deterrents. They used acoustic pingers, reflective CDs and even glass bottles. But they're still not sure how well these methods work. Mammals get trapped into nets, collide with fishing vessels and get injured or stranded. But a prompt intervention can save many of them. Back in Liguria, on the beach of Imperia, we join a training session of the European project Life Delphi. One of its objectives is to create a network of rescue teams, comprising of various coastal services and animal protection groups, always prepared to assist stranded dolphins. We are counting around, you know, 10, 15 stranding situations every year, uh, only in the Liguria region. They're learning how to approach a dolphin stranded, what the first rescue procedure that you should do, like, you know, put in the shadow, watch their physiological behavior, and approach the animal safety. Marine animals in Europe and across the world are up against increasing challenges, from the effects of overfishing to pollution and climate change. It's only by joining forces with activists, volunteers, scientists and fishermen that we can give vulnerable species a better chance of survival. The solutions are here and we just need to apply them for the conservation of these extraordinary creatures that are uh, giving us the, the happiness and the joy to do this work but to give a big passion to the new generation for a sustainable future.